Hello everyone. Okay, so friends, uh, as all of you know that uh, Telangana Public Service Commission JL notification has been released, right? So today we are going to discuss, you know, complete strategic preparation and plan of action, especially for the botany and zoology. So in this particular class, I will clarify all of your doubts how to study, how much extent to study, what kind of books to be followed, how many hours uh, every student has to study, how to manage the timetable, everything I will explain you in a very clear cut manner. I am just requesting all of you, <clears throat> please be patient uh, and understand uh, all the things which I am discussing in the class. Okay. So friends, uh, I hope everyone have gone through the notification and if you look into the <coughs> zoology as well as the botany, when compared to the previous years, this time the number of uh, posts will be little high. But trust my words, uh, this particular notification has been released after a very long period of time, is it? So I want all of you to understand this time the competition will be more. So the person who is preparing the question, who is preparing for this particular exam, he or she has to work extremely hard because most important point, no one knows uh, how the question paper will be because we don't have any previous year question papers because notification released uh, after a long period of time. But you people, no need to worry. I will guide you in every single step uh, how to study a specific unit. And this time in the zoology, uh, including the mid zone 1 and mid zone 2, we are having total 128 posts. Uh, and when, if it look into the botany, including mid zone 1 and 2, we are having total 113 posts. And you can check here according to your category. Now, friends, most of the people will get afraid after looking the syllabus itself. And you no need to worry. If you strictly follow my guidelines, uh, you can crack this particular exam very easily. Friends, uh, I want every one of you to remember one important point. If you look into the syllabus of a JL of botany, zoology, and if you look into the syllabus of a KSET life sciences, and if you look into the syllabus of a CSIR net life sciences, 90, I'm using the word 90, 90% 90 of the syllabus is extremely similar. Then what is the difference between the <coughs> Telangana set exam and JL exam and CSIR net exam? Now, the only difference is the level of difficulty. CSIR net is a very difficult exam when compared to the JL as well as the Telangana set exam. Okay, Telangana set and this particular JL exam, remember my words, most of the questions will be direct, straightforward, but a very little tricky questions. That's all. But if you follow my classes very correctly, friends, you can crack any kind of a difficult question at one attempt. Now, if you look into the syllabus, remember my words. <clears throat> Let me explain you first. Unit 5, Unit 6, Unit 7, Unit 8, and Unit 9. If you look into this particular 9 uh, from Unit 5 to Unit 9, remember everyone, all these 5 units are actually the direct syllabus of the CSIR Net Life Sciences. The only difference is what? You people are getting very straightforward and very direct question. But if you want to answer the question, everyone should have a very excellent knowledge from very basic to the very advanced level. If you just read and uh, if you just read randomly the books, you cannot crack this exam because friends, uh, you don't get uh, questions, very easy questions. You will get a questions which are from the depth of the concept and most importantly, application based. Friends, the ultimate goal of conducting this particular JL exam is to check your application knowledge on the subject, to understand how depth you are having the knowledge on a given subject. So friends, plant ecology, evolution, cell biology, plant physiology, and genetic engineering and molecular biology, these are all what kind of chapters? Remember, these all are conceptual chapters. What chapters? Conceptual chapters, which means what? All the questions you can answer when you have a good understanding of the subject. If you just buy hard, trust my words blindly, you cannot answer even a single question also. You should not buy hard and you should not memorize anything all this. Of course, there are few things to be remembered like enzymes, names of the proteins, names of the genes. 
but mostly purely concept oriented okay and i will explain every single concept from very basic to the very advanced level even you can see all plant physiology lecture genetic lectures molecular biology lectures in my youtube channel you will get a crystal clear idea about the concept and when it comes to the unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 what i want to highlight here unit 1 2 3 4 trust me most of the questions will come from the plus 1 and plus 2 level which means the questions will directly comes from the 11th standard and 12th standard because here purely about classification classification of the bacteria viruses fungus lichens and complete bryophytes complete pteridophytes complete gymnosperms complete angiosperms and you have to understand the complete root development shoot development monocots dicots and most importantly all the families floral formula estuation all this these four units are a kind of units friends where you people has to remember most of the things and now when it comes to the book sir what kind of books that we have to read because we don't know what to study if you stick to the ncert for this four units i am talking about unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 ncert and my powerpoint presentations are sufficient okay but when it comes to the <clears throat> unit 5 6 7 8 9 if you study very basic level trust my words you can't crack a single question you require very depth of the concept so you have to follow my what powerpoint presentations and most important i will suggest one or two books once you join the course if you follow that enough you can crack the exam for very very sure okay next if you look into the zoology syllabus okay so once again i am telling you friends if you look into the zoology syllabus unit 4 <clears throat> unit 5 unit 6 unit 7 unit 8 unit 9 unit 10 unit 11 remember from the unit 4 till the unit 11 these are the same units of the t set also as well as the same units of the csir net also once again what is the only difference the level of question the level of asking the question but you people has to know the concepts from very basic to the very advanced level then only you can crack this particular zoology also now what about the unit 1 unit 2 as well as unit 3 i can tell you very clearly everything is a purely ncert version okay so for these three if you read the ncert enough but remaining all you have to follow my powerpoint presentation and high quality lectures then friends followed by the most important one followed by the books that i will suggest to all of you okay now you can ask me <clears throat> sir i am already a teacher i am working from 7 to 8 years how can i find the time to crack this particular exam it is a valid question that every student will ask see friends you are all well qualified teachers you are already working in a school level but trust my words if you want to reach high in your career see how long you will work only for this 9th and 10th standard if you qualify the exam you can come for the plus 1 and plus 2 level until 60 years of your age it's a kind of a settled career so if you want to get a better career undoubtedly my friends you have to work extremely hard here i kept 4 hours of minimum apart from the classes now i know sir we are already college going where we can find the time so that's why i kept the timings for all of you morning 6 to 7 am you people can easily attend the classes and evening 6 pm to the 7 pm you people can easily attend this particular classes don't worry at all for every one of you i will give you the personalized time table if you read that personalized time table trust me you can easily crack this exam okay so friends uh, give me just 6 months of your dedicated time i will transform your careers very surely you can crack this particular jl exam 100% now you can ask me sir we are having a vast syllabus is there any most important topic that i can cover yes see i have completely decoded all your uh, syllabus so finally i made uh, 91 topics excluding excluding the basic uh, plant kingdom and excluding basic animal kingdom these 91 are the most important topics that every aspirant has to read compulsory 
before reading you should listen the classes correctly you have to follow my ppt and you have to practice the question and trust my words beyond whatever we are discussing in the class beyond that even you don't expect a single question once i complete the chapter i will solve whatever the pyq is available i will solve every single pyq whatever is available and i will help i will give you most of the uh, practice questions for every single chapter okay so friends uh, the batch is already started okay so that is from uh, third remember everyone that is from the third january onwards okay third january onwards 6 am the batch is starting if anyone wants to enroll and uh, i will only help the people who are really dedicated, who are extremely hardworking and especially who never ever give up. Okay. So friends, uh, whomever wants to enroll in this particular batch and wants to know about the more details, uh, just to call on this particular number, you know, I will explain you everything in a clear cut manner. Okay. Okay, friends, that's all for now. Don't worry at all. If you're really sincere and hardworking, I'll help you in every step of your journey. 100% you're going to crack this particular exam. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you.